Hey guys, this is That Windows Dev with Bite Size Tech, and today we're going to talk about Pokemon Go on Windows Phone. So, to make things short, um, somebody kind of confirmed that Pokemon Go was going to come to Windows Phone really soon, and then the statement was altered to basically say it would come in the near future. Well, we don't have to necessarily worry about that because we already have a Pokemon Go app on Windows Phone now. Um, yes, it's a third party app, but it gets the job done. Um, the thing about this app is, you, I personally, based off of my experience, I haven't actually caught any Pokemon yet, but it's notified me and told me which Pokemon are in my area, and it just so happens to be there is a Vulpix around the corner from me, and uh, a Pikachu currently on the same street that I'm, I'm basically on. Um, I went outside and tried it. Um, I'm not gonna actually, like, show you guys me searching for privacy reasons because it, it, it tells you your street and all of that good stuff. And I'm, I'm gonna show you screenshots of everything, but I'm gonna show you guys what I can, um, right now. So, let's go ahead and go to the Pokemon app. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, so currently on the Pokemon app, yeah, you have to have your location on. Um, there's a, there's this Pikachu right here. That's the Pikachu. Um, uh, if you hold on the Pokemon, it'll tell you what time it expires at. It says it expires at 13.07, 31 seconds. Um, so I guess that's how long I have until that Pikachu goes away, which I'm going to get. Um, even if I can't get it, I'm going to make a way to get it. Would you look at that Bulbasaur's in the area? So let's go through these features really quick, right? So we have a menu that shows every Pokemon in the area. We've got some pretty awesome, there goes that Pikachu, it's calling my name. Some pretty awesome Pokemon. Um, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Staryu. These are some, some pretty decent Pokemon. Um, one thing that I definitely like about the app is you have the option to, to notify yourself like if if it just pops up from a scan um, just like the map just updated um, something new is there Bellsprout maybe um I don't know but you have the option to notify yourself if it's around just like the notification did with Bulbasaur so if it scans or you just so happen to go buy it boom it's gonna it's gonna tell you like hey you know this is here um, another thing that you can do is you see my Pikachu right here on the map is just chilling here and it's a it's a catchable Pokemon. Well what if I don't want to catch Pikachu and I'm only hunting for Eevees to expand my already diverse collection of Eevee evolved forms. Um all I would do is check that box right there and it won't allow anything else on the screen except for Eevees within that certain radius the the game or map already provides. Um, so let's go ahead and take that off. Um, there's going to be more screenshots I'm posting of um, my experience with this and the other Pokemon as well as how it looks. Um, so far, it looks great. We just need to be able to catch Pokemon if we already can't. There's a, a feedback feature right there that, that we should definitely use um, You know, if we want this Pokemon app to actually compete with Pokemon Go. Um, lastly, we also have the night mode feature, or if it's nighttime and your phone brightness is really high and you still want to be able to see, you can just switch over to a kind of dark thing. Um, you know, so that that's what that does. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see what the feedback feature is. Um, I'm pretty sure it might be a rating in the store, but... Yeah, it's it's so far it's not that bad of a Pokemon app. I um I went outside down a couple of streets for about ten minutes on each street. It's like 110 degrees outside. Probably not literally, but um hey, don't tell me that was made by an official. But um the app is called Find Them All. You can find it in the the Pokemon not Pokemon <laughs> the Windows Store. Um yeah, it, go ahead and download that app. Share it with your friends, make sure everybody knows, or don't. Sometimes it's good to have your own treasure. You don't have to share with anybody else. Well, I decided to. But um, this is what the app was called. Um, you know, some screenshots. Um, you, you won't see them that clear right now, but I'll definitely be posting some screenshots of um, 
you know, the app with some of the Pokemon I found. Um, as for right now, I'm not going to rate it, but if I were to rate it, I would give it three stars because it's off to a good start. And I see a lot of potential in this app. This app could really cause a stir in the community. Um, so there you go. You've seen it. Pokemon Go on Windows Phone. This is That Windows Dev with Bite Size Tech, and thanks for watching.